Hey Pipers, Calendar all. coming to you from the pipe patio here, and uh, on a Wednesday morning, sitting here and I'm having a little <clears throat> smoke in my Duca Carlo Prince shape, I really, really enjoy this pipe, really, at, at first I didn't think I would, but uh, it's, it's about an hour smoke, and smoking some uh, McBaron Navy Flake, but I uh, thought I'd give you a little update here on the tobacco plant. This thing got up about seven and a half foot, and uh, it's the largest one I've ever had. And as you can see, it has finally went to flower. Get up a little bit and see. You can see the flower head here. Nice pink flower. But it's kind of got a little scoliosis going on. <laughs> the rain. Uh, it's so large, so tall and heavy, uh, the rain just kind of bends it over. And uh, I've got a support stick in there, but even with that, it still gets bent over a little bit. But uh, I'm going to take, and I'm going to let this uh, flower head go ahead and uh, get pollinated and, and then let the flowers drop off and then the pods will turn brown and then I'm going to clip it clip the flower head off and save it for seeds and uh, and then I want to take and I've, I've always taken these and pick the leaves one at a time and kind of put them up and let them dry but I'm going to take this one and I'm going to harvest it all at one time and uh, just turn it upside down and and hang it here up underneath the covered area and just let it air dry air cure and I'm going to do it to both of them I got a second one back there and it, it's flowered it's not quite as large as this one and uh, I want to do it all at one time and see if that makes a difference in how it cures and and uh, but this is a Virginia tobacco I have some burley I grew the year before so I'll be able to cure this and then make a little Virginia burley blend and uh, then the other thing I'll do here is because we have such a long growing season here in Louisiana, when I cut it, I'll cut it about four inches from the ground or from the dirt level in the pot, and it will immediately send up another pup plant. And um, I should be able to get another plant up to about six foot before the frost gets to it. So I, uh, I'm gonna give that a whirl and do a secondary crop. But everything here is kind of doing real well. Uh, something happened to my merlotone. It just it was doing fine, and then all of a sudden, it, I come out one day, and it, all the leaves was wilted on it, and they're dried up. But uh, I've noticed the tips of the vine are alive, so I really and truly don't know what happened to it. But I'm going to continue to take care of it and fertilize it, and see if I can't get it to come on, and uh, maybe it'll it'll uh, regenerate a little bit. But uh, but like I said, all the tips are alive, so we're going to just keep going forward. I have no idea what what got to it. I thought at first that maybe a, a vine borer had got to it, and, but um, that can't be the case because if it had been that, it would have killed the plant completely. So, but uh, just sitting out and having a coffee this morning and taking a little break and hopefully uh, we got some cooler weather coming. I tell you, I'm ready for fall. It, uh, even though this hasn't been too much of a bad summer it's actually been a mild summer here for us uh you know the had some little cool fronts during the summer and uh the, even the temperatures has been in the 90s to where sometimes usually you know, it'll it'll hit the hundreds during during august so looking forward to that and uh i uh, I, I really enjoy the cooler times of the year that's when i enjoy my pipe smoking the most uh, as we get into the cooler times of fall and then going into winter. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, that's uh, that's when I enjoy mine the most. I'll uh, I'll start bringing out some of the English blends. I uh, really like to smoke them in the wintertime for some reason. Don't know why. Just kind of naturally move in that direction. Uh, so I'll start bringing some out and uh, start smoking some of the Pelicans. Uh, I really enjoy that, and uh, the, a couple of the Peter Stokeby 
ones, uh, Artesian. I like that one pretty well. There's several of the uh, of the blends. I've got some. Uh, I've only smoked one bowl of it, but I do have some. Um, oh, I can't think of the name of the blend now. Uh, from from Pennsylvania, from the shop in Pennsylvania. Um, but anyway, I, I want to try it. I haven't had, like I said, I haven't had but one bowl of it. Really want to smoke some of that some more. And uh, just looking forward to the cooler weather. So just thought I'd just give a little update here from the patio, from the tobacco growing. And uh, this was quite a success this year. Like I said, it's the largest one I've ever had. Uh, I, you know, uh, from the base of it in the pot to the top was seven and a half foot when it flowered. So everybody just... Uh, Look forward to seeing the cool weather come and enjoy smoking your pipes. And, you know, when it gets cooler here, we'll be able to do a little more of the keep it lit and keep it smoking.